Hi, it's Emily. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> well, here we are. <laughs> Supernatural is over. And many people have varying opinions on the finale. And to be honest, <sighs> emotions are a little bit too high at the moment. Feelings are a little bit too raw within the fandom for me to really talk about the finale in depth. So I'm not going to do that in this video. I am going to summarize my feelings and just give a couple notes of how where I'm at here. I may not have loved the finale, but I was overall happy with the ending of the show and what it was saying about the show. And I know that a lot of people are going to disagree with that. I just think that we got very different things from what was being put forth. I, again, I'm not going to go into, you know, exactly how I feel about it, but I will probably do that in a different video in the future, but it's just, it's not the right time at this moment. <laughs> and I understand that people feel hurt by what happened in the finale, and I'm not trying to devalue your feelings or say that you're wrong about how you feel. I, I really, I don't want to do that. Even if I disagree with anything that anyone says, I'm not going to say that you're wrong for feeling that about the finale. If you say that Cass is not in love with Dean, then I will say you're wrong. But um, <laughs> I am really trying to be more sympathetic towards people who did not enjoy the finale. Um, there were so many things I didn't like about the finale, but for the most part, I can boil a lot of those things down to COVID and the, that they were filming during the pandemic. I know that some people are not going to take that as an excuse uh, for a lot of the things they're upset about. A lot of the things I'm upset about can be squared away with saying COVID. This is my perspective. Anyway. I do have a problem though with conspiracy theories. I understand that people are upset that we didn't see Dean reciprocate Cass's feelings or that we didn't see Cass in the finale at all. I understand that. It's very sad. But I do not support conspiracy theories about the finale, about 1518 where we got Cass's confession. None of that is helpful. It's really not. It only helps the people who are believing this this false sense of comfort that is not real. It's not based in reality. I don't know. It just upsets me specifically that we are not able to celebrate what we actually did get from the show that I absolutely did not expect to get because the show is from 2005 and has been on for 15 years. I just urge people that are out there believing conspiracy theories to just take a second and think about what proof do you need to admit that you were wrong? And if you can't find anything that would actually convince you that you were wrong, you have to think about the fact that you are believing a conspiracy theory. <laughs> just think about it. I've already talked too much about <laughs> the Supernatural finale, more than I thought I would say. But one more thing I do want to say is, if you have not watched Supernatural since season 12, or before, <laughs> I think it's completely unfair of you to comment on the way it ended in a way that you think is as valid as someone who has been watching it. <laughs> until the end. The truth is, unless you have lived in this fandom, or at least just watched the show <laughs> for the last four years, you really, really do not have the full picture. And especially if you haven't watched the show since season like five or six, you really do not have the context. And saying that the way the show ended or saying that Dean and Cass getting together came out of nowhere or all these things. It makes no sense to you because you have not been watching. Even if you have been seeing gift sets and all these things and all what you haven't been watching. So you do not know what storyline led up to this happening. And the people who are watching it who are general viewers and also thought it was out of left field, you are very heteronormative. <laughs> 
So anyway, there's a reason that Destiel is the biggest fandom on AO3, okay? Like, there's a reason that so many people wanted this to happen. I'm just saying. Anyway, and actually one more thing. Castiel is queer and in love with Dean. And he is now alive and in heaven with Dean. And he will be there forever with him. And that's canon. And no one can take that away from us. Literally no one. Because finally, we have canon on our side to say that we are not crazy and we're not delusional and we're not reading into things. This is literally the canon of the show. Bobo, Misha, Rich, the director, all in agreement that Cass's confession was romantic. And also the episode itself was in agreement with that because he said, the one thing that I want is something I cannot have. Now, I've heard many a theory of what that could possibly be, but not, you know, him being in love with Dean, um, and none of them make sense. So, <laughs> it doesn't add up here. He literally went on to say that Dean changed him and that he loves him. Not to mention he's already told Dean that he loves him, so it's not like that would be the happiest he's ever been. He literally already said it to him. So I, it's a different love. I'm sorry that you're upset about that, except I'm not sorry because it's gay. Anyway, onto a lighter subject. I figured that since I'm not gonna be talking about Supernatural for a little while at least, I do need to expand my channel in some way. And while I'm not exactly sure what that will be yet, I did think that I've gotten a pretty significant amount of followers this past month. And um, these people, you, you do not know who I am and you may not know what I'm like. And what better way to get to know someone than to look at their TikTok likes? <laughs> I am ready to be thoroughly embarrassed by this. I haven't looked at these beforehand or cherry picked them or anything. I'm I'm gonna open it up and just like pick one at random and then start there and go backwards. So I don't even know how many I'm gonna look at, but this is gonna be a fun time and you'll get to know me. All right, we're gonna. You know what I think it's just funny is like, there's guys on here that's like, Oh, I want a gamer girl. I want to grow up in that place video games and ah. <laughs> But actually you don't because here's the thing is it's all fun and games pun intended until You want to play a video game and she's playing the Xbox and it's like babe, it's my turn. Uh, no, the fuck it ain't back the fuck up <laughs> Now I get you can have two Xboxes and stuff like that, but then they're wanting to play Madden. I don't want to play Madden, okay? I want to play Elder Scrolls. I want to play Dragon Age. I want to play sport games. What the fuck? And I hate to break it to you, but if I'm playing a video oh, there's more. game, I'm not invested in you, okay? I'm too busy romancing my ex-Templar, all right? He's sweet to me. He died for me. What would you do? <laughs> Try to take my Xbox? I don't think so. I'm the oldest child in my family, all right? I will give you a controller and make you think you are playing. You know what I think? It's just funny. That's funny. Um, I'm not a gamer at all. I'm kind of just realizing that I was supposed to put on headphones for this. Okay. Anyway, I, I'm not a gamer, so I don't really understand, like, the references in this. This wasn't a very good, like, one to start on, to be honest, because I just don't... I just thought it was funny. Anyway. Okay, so everybody knows what a Karen is. Yes. I'm really curious to know what my generation will be called when we're middle-aged. I think we'll be called like the Rachels or the Ashleys. And I think the stereotype will be like middle-aged women who get really overwhelmed and then like cry for 10 minutes in a public location and have to FaceTime <laughs> their therapist. So instead of it being Ooh, like, <laughs> Karen wants to speak to the manager, it'll be like, <laughs> Look at that Ashley crying in Starbucks because people were honking at her while she was trying to parallel park. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good at parallel parking. Just not to toot my own horn, but I'm just good at driving, so <laughs> I am tooting my own horn, yes. You know, all these people are like, oh, I don't do my makeup for men. Oh, I don't get dressed up for men. Oh, I do it for myself. I do it for myself. I do it for myself. <laughs> uh, and I'm just like, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I don't do it for myself. You know who I do it for? I do it for random women <laughs> on the street. 
because I want to be walking and then I want to I, I want to pass by a woman and I want her to be like your makeup is so nice or you smell so good or where'd you get that shirt because that's <laughs> that's just oh that's tops man that's, that's top that meant I did the thing I did the thing that I mean, day, I you know? Makeup, but. God, I don't do it for myself. I'm gonna be honest. I, I can't lie. Yeah. I, don't I don't wear makeup like ever, but I, um, when I do, I don't know. I think I do do it for myself only because I'm just like, I never wear it. So I do get compliments when I do wear it because people are like, what? You're wearing makeup. It's actually kind of a backhanded compliment, but anyway. Um, <laughs> but when I do like dress up and like look cute and you know, I mean, I am gay, so I do want women to stop and be like, oh, hey, but um, <laughs> not men, no. <laughs> even though I'm bisexual, I don't want you to do that if you're a man. I feel like hyper woke people who are very like, don't assume anyone's gender, like those beliefs of being sensitive to trans people only apply to this vision that they have of trans people That's in their head and they kind of forget about it when it comes to passing trans people like I feel like they forget mm -hmm. that passing trans people exist like one time I was at this thing and I was sitting next to this girl who was like very on that vibe like very hyper woke and I was 18 like early in my transition and like looked young and she like turned to someone next to us and was like that kid looks like he's in fucking eighth grade like right in front of me and I'm like, you you probably wouldn't have said that at all. Like if I had a little trans flag binder peeking out, like if I, like if I had the little trans flag binder peeking out, you would have been like, oh, like boy, like so handsome, like little small bee. Like you would be sensitive about like what you mm -hmm. say to a trans person who doesn't pass. Right. But then if you see like a passing boy who's like five feet tall with like little baby hands, you'd be like, ha ha ha. Cause you'd have no fucking idea. And you're not hyper. -woke. I feel right. I've decided I don't want to hear about personality tests anymore. I don't care what your sun sign is. I don't care what your Enneagram number is. I don't want to know what your like Myers-Briggs thing is, whatever. What I want to know is what the Greek sirens in Homer's Odyssey would have had to tell you in order to get you to jump ship. Because like for me, all they'd have to do would be like, hey, we have a list of everyone who has ever had a crush on you. And I would be like, all right. <laughs> I love that one because it's, it's fun to think about like what yours would be, right? But I honestly do think I would absolutely go if they said we have everyone who's ever had a crush on you because I would just out of curiosity want to know. But I don't know if I, I'm trying to think what would get me there. Hmm. Probably reciprocal dusty out. Anyway. <laughs> Did the TikTok algorithm decide anyone else that was not a lesbian was a lesbian and then just firmly put them on lesbian <laughs> tiktok yes because like 90 percent of my for you page is lesbian tiktok and like my ears are not I'm hype them up, but i'm not their target audience i agree the I, i'm not a lesbian i am bisexual so i can firmly belong on <laughs> lesbian tiktok but a lot of my 40 pages lesbians, so. Wow, this is amazing. I have so much energy today. I, okay, so this, like, the ADH, ADHD experience stuff. Okay, so I legitimately, I've never been diagnosed with ADHD, and I honestly don't think I have it, but so many of the things that ADHD people experience, I'm like, yes. I understand, so maybe I do, who knows? I'm not self-diagnosing. I think I'll get a lot of things done today. Oh my gosh, that's great. What's the first thing you're gonna get done? Ah, you see, I'm actually not gonna get anything done today. But you just said you have a lot of energy. Correct, but if I expend this energy by doing things, then I won't have enough energy to do more things later. Oh, I see. So instead of using all the energy that you've been given this day, you're going to waste it all and sit on that chair and do nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's how it's played out every single other day of my life. <laughs> wow, it sounds like you live in hell. Why haven't you killed yourself yet? Oh, well, that's obvious, isn't it? Spite against the god that put me on this mortal coil. <laughs> Y'all know that Such part in The Grinch when he eats glass? Oh, Tell yeah. Me yeah, I'm following Hank Green, so... That didn't look delicious! <laughs> Don't eat glass! Don't eat glass. <laughs> that was so don't funny. Eat, don't eat glass. I love that so much. I mean, I don't, I really don't think that Brittany Broski was thinking about actually eating glass. <laughs> um, but I think that was just so funny. The way I just finished watching Happiest Season, and I have to tell you, 
Uh, it's completely unrealistic. You're trying to tell me two queer women drink regular milk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drink oat milk, so <laughs> there's that. I used to drink almond milk, and then I tried oat milk, and I was like, why would I ever drink almond milk ever again when oat milk exists? <laughs> so. Before we begin, why don't you tell me where it hurts? So it kind of hurts, like, on my neck, uh, my back. You can say it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to be cool with it. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have scoliosis. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Laughing preemptively, but because uh, I knew how it was going to end, but it was so funny. I love that one. <sighs> it's too early for this. I'm sorry. What pride flag? The flag on my ball? You mean the flag of New Jersey? <laughs> This is just a PSA. If you have to do this, <laughs> you don't have to worry about Biden's tax plan. <laughs> that was so funny. I, I don't know. <laughs> is it the heart? You guys, is it the heart? I, um, I just walked downstairs, and my mom and dad had friends over, so it was, you know, hey, mom and dad's friends, hey, hey, I said it like that, hey, and they were like, Josh, got a girlfriend yet? Is it the hat? <laughs> just tell me if it's the hat. I think it's the hat, honestly. <laughs> All right, I know all my peeps out there that work in retail or in food or something similar can more than likely relate to this, but when you work with a lot of customers, you tend to have like instinctual lines that you just spit out at customers without even really thinking about it. When they walk in or they call or whatever it is, it's like, hey, how are you doing? What brings you in? What's going on? What can I do for you? What the fuck do you want? Anyways, we tend to mix up those lines every now and then, okay? We're not perfect, we're human beings. That's a shot at you, The Rock, okay? I know you're a robot, you perfect bitch. So this customer walks in the other day and I was going to say, one of two things. I was going to say, hi, how are you doing? Or I was going to say, hi, what brings you in? But instead of saying either of those, I decided to mix them up and I said, hi, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you doing? That's what I said. I said, hey, what are you doing? Hey, dude, that, I said that to you. If you're watching this, how are you? <clears throat> what's, what are you doing? Fuck. <laughs> this is so funny because def that's definitely true. Um, one of my coworkers was telling me a story that was like basically someone came in and they said they wanted to say, "Can I, how can I help you?" And she said, "Can I hold you?" <laughs> this one time I worked at a grocery store that has like a shoppers bonus card. Uh, you may know what that is. Anyway, and. Um, and then I started working at a different place and I was still like in that mode and I asked the person in front of me at my new job, do you have a bonus card? <laughs> it's like, wait a second, I'm not there anymore. In case you've missed the last week or so of lesbian TikTok, let me fill you in. Um, so door frames are now gay. Mm -hmm. And I get it. Here's the deal. I'm gonna tell you some stuff that you already know. You're gonna agree with it, like this post, totally forget about it, and then not listen to any of the advice I gave you. Okay, here we go. You're probably being too hard on yourself. Bitch, you know you should be sleeping more. Everyone thinks about you way less than you think they do. You have no idea how good everyone else is doing, so stop comparing yourself to them. <laughs> that person who you think hates your guts, is honestly probably just careless. People are generally more competent than you probably give them credit for. Don't worry. No one else is having any sex either. I know I already said it. But bitch, you really should be sleeping more. There's yes. probably no meaning in the universe except what we create for ourselves. 
Oh, oh and oh. <laughs> you're gonna be oh. fine. It's funny because I watched this probably like a week ago and I had already forgotten it and he said he was you're, you're gonna forget it. Um, because I have not been sleeping very well at all and I feel bad, but you know, like right now, it's 2.30 in the morning. Fucking colder than a witch's tit out there. <laughs> That's so real. Oh my God, as someone who's from New York. It really does hit different. Like, what I was in LA for like two weeks one time, and I legitimately was so cold when it got to like 60 degrees, and I was like, what is going on? I am from New York, like Western New York. I can deal with cold, but it's just because of context. Like, normally is not cold. So, because when it does get cold, you are colder. <laughs> Are these people Grace Helbig? Remember them? They were so cocky. Grace Helbig. Tyler Calm O'Connor down. Branta. Wait, Where why are you, why are you now? laughing on? Are you fucking here, bitch? <laughs> Living a normal life. Calm down, <laughs> Jesus. Literally, when I tell someone I voted for the candidate um, that's gonna help human rights, that's gonna better the American people, they automatically assume I'm talking about Biden. I mean, I am. But your assumption means a lot. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? If I were ever in a situation that required me to fight for my own life, I would simply die. I'm really not that motivated. We can't all be built like that. When the going gets tough, I quit. Accurate. So accurate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This week's been pretty crazy. Oh I just hosted a socially distanced Friendsgiving mm -hmm. inside with a few of my closest friends and their friends and their friends. And we all decided to quarantine together for the afternoon. So that was nice. For the afternoon. But tomorrow I'm flying home to see my grandparents who have been isolating on their deathbed. So I can't wait to give them a big hug. But all of the bars <laughs> in my hometown are closed again. So I think my friends and I are just going to stick our tongues in each other's throats and cough on strangers. But <laughs> I just really can't wait for this all to be back to normal. <laughs> so true, though. So we need to talk about auditory processing issues in ADHD because this was a thing that I did not know was a thing for the longest and I never knew how to describe it to people. I legit used to tell people, it's like I'm deaf, but I'm not deaf, which looking back was a super problematic way to describe it, but I had no other way to describe exactly what it was that I was going through. Because it's like sometimes you know people are talking to you or sometimes you're not even aware that people are talking to you but you can hear the noise but you have no idea what's being said or what's what's happening basically and you just can't process it. So I just stare at people and then I'm like, can you say that again? Because I have no idea what you just said. And it makes me feel really, really stupid because they just look at me, they're like, but you, you can hear. And I'm like, yeah, I can hear, but that doesn't mean I'm processing what you're saying. Absolutely. Like, again, I don't, I really don't think I have ADHD, but that, I totally get that. Like, 100% I get that. A lot of the time it's like when there's a lot going on, and I think that's a lot of, like, regarding my anxiety, like, I can't, if there's a lot of sounds happening all at once, either I like, I can't hear anything because I'm just like, I don't want to be listening to anything right now. Like, my brain needs to shut down. Or I will be focused on one specific thing, usually background music. When I worked outside, in the outside world, <laughs> um, we would be playing music at where I work, and I would just only be concentrating on the music. Like, people would be in front of me, like, talking to me, and I'm like, I... I'm only listening to the music right now, guys. I can tell you the words to Roxanne by Sting. Is it Sting? I don't even know. The police? I don't. I really don't remember who sings that. Roxanne! That's what I would do when I was at work. I would just start making that noise because that's all that song is. It's him going, Roxanne! <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah, I've got a girl crush on her, like a huge girl crush. I want to have like a, like a girl's night. Maybe... Maybe I'll ask him like a like a girl date. <laughs> we could girl kiss. You know, be girlfriends, friends with girls. Maybe get girl married one day. I don't know. It's silly. Um, you know, just girl stuff, just girly, just girly things. Um. <laughs> yes. 
This is a question for everybody who's on vacation in Mexico right now. <laughs> Do you not feel stupid? <laughs> Do you not feel stupid? What to do uh, for the concept of no nuance November. Did y'all hear a thing he said? <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm looking very disrespectfully at this video. <laughs> that was really funny. Hello, and welcome Potatoes. to Potato TikTok, or as some may call it, the promised land. Here we love potato, live potato, and laugh potato. The first rule of Potato TikTok is that we all really like potatoes. potatoes. Hello, and welcome to Potato TikTok. It's over. I'm crying right now. I love potatoes. That's how you look like when somebody call your name? <laughs> if a random person called my name, I would look like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that person so much. Oh my god. I don't know Run where in. I go to submit new slang, but I want to replace prank with premium goof. <laughs> like, if you pull a sick a sick prank, you just feel like, oh, bro, that's a real premium goof you pulled off there. <laughs> nice. Nice. That sounds cool. Sounds cool. I don't know. I agree. Premium goof is such a great thing. I love it. Uh, this is Brendan. He's my friend. Okay, on Twitter and TikTok, he's Brendan the Comic. Go follow him. He's amazing. Um, he's just, he's one of my best friends. And I'm... <laughs> I love it. He makes really funny TikToks and he tweets funny things and he's just a funny guy. So, go follow him. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at the way he is sitting. Yes, very distinguished. Mm -hmm, I see, I see. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you mean? People ask me, like, uh, as, a, as a bisexual, they ask me, like, I'm... Like I, I say, like I'm, I'm looking for a girlfriend, and they're like, "But you're bisexual, aren't you? Also looking for a boyfriend?" <laughs> I'm like, "Well, I mean, yeah, maybe." And they're like, "So you should say you're looking for a partner." And I'm like, "Well, no, I'm looking for a girlfriend." And they're like, "You're bisexual," and I have to say, "But like, have you tried talking to a man <laughs> recently, <laughs> or at all, really, or at all? Uh, not much has changed. Have you tried talking to a man?" Like, I'm bisexual, but I'm... <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> it is time that we put an end to the harmful misconceptions about bi people. Yes, finally, let's do it. Bi people do not need to pick a side. Yes, absolutely. We are not cheaters. I could not agree with you more, sister. And we are not confused. Uh, I don't know if I would go that far. <laughs> Just not confused about my sexuality. <laughs> my heart. That was so The cute. difference between me, as someone who has pushed for Biden to win this presidency, versus, let's say, a Trump supporter, is that I don't support Biden. I support him for president, but I don't support him. I agree with a lot of Biden's policies, like raising minimum wage, fixing student debt issues, investing in green energy, decriminalizing marijuana, getting rid of mandatory minimum sentencing, granting citizenship to all dreamers, rejoining the Paris Climate Accord, and much, much more. But you will never catch me idolizing a politician. Never. Biden and Kamala are not free of criticism. If they fuck up, I will speak out about it. I will petition for a change. That is the difference between me and a Trump supporter. I will not turn a blind eye to yes. injustice, especially if it's from people I voted into office. Uh, I have a proposition for those live, laugh, love um, <laughs> signs that white bitches got in their house. I think it should be alive. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs>
that was so funny. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys some chaotic messages my mom has sent me recently. Um, this looks like a image file, like the coding for one. I don't know how she managed to do that, <laughs> but it was really long. And I said, LOL. And she said, I'm just trying to shop. <laughs> so I'm like, you texted me. This was at 2.45 in the morning. She goes, what are you doing? I never saw it before. <laughs> you never saw what? I never saw it before. I don't know. Are you sure it's for me? Love yo. Going to bed, having some cookies and milk. This one just unannounced. Jesus, cheese puffs. How are you feeling today? Better. No temp, chills, sore throat. A picture of a jack-o'-lantern, and then it just says Goonies. <laughs> this is the pumpkin she made. This says Birth Goofadoo, and then it's a Polly Pocket, Pollyville Mega Mall, and there's just a V at the bottom. <laughs> That's so my mom. Hey, how are you? Okay, went shopping. Dollar store. Your favorite place. How are you? I'm fine. At, LOL. At Dana's. I have a cold sore. <laughs> Tell Zayna hi. Panda is sleeping. Ice machine is not working. <laughs> oh no, your ice. Dana says hi. I bought ice tries. Trays. Oh, this one was funny. My mom got a new iPhone. And she texted me and my brother and said, How do I use Siri? <laughs> I said, Say hey Siri. And my brother said, Say hey Siri. And she just said, question mark so i recently found out that to get a girlfriend one must speak to women um so i'm gonna be single forever uh happy halloween <laughs> same <laughs> and i think that's a good place to end it honestly so yeah gay leftist tiktok is where i am i mean i'm not surprised but you got a glimpse into who i am as a person um, <laughs> but I hope you don't leave now that you know who I am. I am actually getting pretty close to 100 subscribers and I said it in another video that I wanted to do a live stream when I get to 100 so I do still want to do that. My plan is to do a live stream and just like chat with people. Basically I just, I just want to have fun. Although who knows, you might all unsubscribe from me based on this video. <laughs> I do hope that you stay here, even though I'm not going to be talking about Supernatural for a little while. I really enjoy talking to all of you in the comments and I'm oh, just, I'm really having fun with this. So I was thinking I might do a ranking of the seasons of Supernatural as maybe like a middle ground thing of like not talking too much about the show um, or the finale. <laughs> um, but still like talking about Supernatural. And I also have a video idea about basically covering Jack Klein's entire character arc while he was on the show because I actually really love Jack as a character and I loved where he ended up. So I really do think eventually I will make that video. It's probably gonna take me some time so that won't be out for a while. Anyways, even despite the fact that I don't really want to talk about Supernatural for a little bit. If there's any shows that you think that I should watch or that you want me to talk about or just anything that you want me to talk about on my channel, leave it in the comments down below because I'm really open to ideas and such. I am thinking about getting back into screenwriting and I really want to read different scripts and see you know, the techniques that people use and the different, you know, ways that people write television and then try to write some for myself, whether that be a spec scripts or just, you know, I, ho I think I'll start out with spec scripts. And if you don't know what spec scripts are, they are scripts that are based on are already formed television shows. So like, okay, I'm going to write an episode of Supernatural or I'm going to write an episode of Bob's Burgers or something like that. It's practice basically. And, and what I need is more practice and to continuously do it so that I can build myself back up because I feel like I haven't been doing anything related to that. And I really feel like I want to. So I don't know if that's something you'd be interested in hearing more about, like my process of getting back into screenwriting. I don't know if you'd be interested in that. I don't know. Just let me know. And one thing I will ask if you guys want to talk about the finale in the comments, I just please ask you to be respectful. Not that you only have to say nice things about the finale, but 
just be respectful of each other and of the cast and crew that have made this show that I care very deeply about. And I'm sure that if you watch Supernatural for as long as you did, that you care about the show too. I, I just want everyone to be respectful of each other. So that's what I ask. <laughs> Um, and I will be, I will delete comments if they're just overtly hateful and stuff like that. And that's my discretion. Just so you know. Alrighty. <laughs> that's all I've got for you today. Keep it cool, bros. <laughs> Bye.